I want to talk now about the Clapham chemical attacker. This is a really astonishing story. The asylum judge who granted asylum to the chem Clapham chemical attacker, who was a, a, a sex offender as well, he was granted asylum despite despite the judge concluding that he had told a litany of lies about various aspects of his life. So his conversion, Abdul Azedi's conversion to Christianity, was apparently genuine based on compelling evidence from a retired Baptist minister who the Times names today as the Reverend Roy Merrin. Now the judge's decision to grant the asylum came despite expressing concerns about the honesty of the appellant in a relation of Zazetti in relation to certain aspects of his account. Some of the stuff that he believed or didn't believe, uh, I mean a caseworker asked uh, Abdul Azedi, what is the Old Testament about? Abdul Azedi said, Jesus Christ. Now any Christian, and in fact many people who aren't even Christians, will know the basic fact that the Old Testament is not about Jesus Christ, it's about the fact that Messiah is coming, and the New Testament is of course all about Jesus Christ in many, many respects. Really, really uh, astounding. Uh, he was asked to name Jesus' main followers, and he could only name actually four of the disciples, and he named Simon and Peter as well, as was Simon was another disciple as well. Asked what God created on the third day, what did God create on the third day? He responded, Good Friday and Easter Sunday and Resurrection Day. I mean, this guy just didn't know the very, very basics about Christianity. Let's talk to an immigration lawyer, Ivan Sampson, who's with us. Ivan, thank you for joining me this morning. How can someone who clearly doesn't know the basics about Christianity say that he is a Christian and then that is ac accepted by a court and that person who is a sex offender is granted asylum? Yeah, I can answer, answer our first part of that. It's a theological debate. I mean, the person crucified with Christ on the cross we know very much about Christ, and yet Christ said to him, you'll be in with me paradise today. So that's a theological debate. Now, th what I want to talk about is the evidence. Sorry. What is the evidence? I'm, I'm, not, talk I'm not getting into theology. I'm getting into basic facts about things like well, the Old the Testament not being about Jesus. What does it mean to be a Christian? That's the theological debate. You're saying that you must know about the Bible, and if you don't know about the Bi enough about the Bible, you can't be a Christian. Sorry, are, are I we, you, sorry am, I, am, I, am I in a dream here? Ivan, you're saying, I mean, these are basic facts. You're not asking, you know, tell me about theories and, you know, what is verse, you know, chapter 12, verse 13 of Revelation. That's not what he's saying. He's saying, what is the Old Testament about? I mean, if you don't know that and you profess to be a Christian, surely that's yeah. a massive red flag. Well, I, my response to you is this. The person crucified with Christ uh, on the cross um, didn't know anything about him. Nothing yes. at all. Yes. He knew nothing about the Old Testament. And yet Christ said to him on the cross, you will be with me in paradise today. So he was obviously a Christian, accepted as a Christian, knew nothing at all. So again, that's a well, theological well, debate. The thief on the cross so, converted to Christianity as a result of talking to Jesus on the, on the cross as they were both dying, having been crucified by the Romans. This is someone who had based his asylum. You cannot compare the two. Peter, the person, this is a theological debate. It's not a theological debate. It's basic facts. No, it's basic facts. You could ask a Muslim. You could ask a Jew. You could ask a Hindu. No, 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 what no, is the no, Old no, Testament it, about? It, it, it's a theological debate. It's not. It's not. It, it is, Peter. It's basic facts. Ivan, you're arguing is black is white. That is nonsense. Well, OK. The judge looked at the, the evidence. The, the judge decides on the evidence. No matter what people say, well, the judge got it wrong and he, this guy wasn't a Christian. Well, look at the evidence. Well, the evidence says what this. He'd come into the UK in 2016. He'd uh, had his asylum application refused, lost his appeal. Sometime between 2016 and 2018, he converted to Christianity. Well, he said he did, yeah. The most yeah. compelling evidence was the evidence of Reverend Merrin. That's what the judge looked at. So it's his fault. To, yeah, well, no, 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 no. I, I never said that. The litany of lies, uh, the judge in the round found his evidence to be consistent regarding the conversion. They may well have been lies on other matters. And he may not have known about the Bible and may not have known about, uh, about um, the Old Testament. Um, many Christians who are believers may not know about the Old Testament. That that's, was nonsense. Not the that's nonsense. That is nonsense. Evidence. Ivan, that's nonsense. Show me a single person in a church in this country who does not know that the Old Testament is not about Jesus. It's about Jesus coming in the New Testament. That is, well, that is Christianity 101. 
Well, the, the, the judge will look at the evidence. The most well, he looked at it. He, he, he was, he was, was told lies and he made the wrong decision because he let a sex offender into this country as an asylum seeker and then he went on to throw acid in someone in a, someone two people's eyes. Well, let's talk about the sex offence because what the law says, if you're convicted about for an offence which carries more than 12 months imprisonment, that means you will be automatically deport, deported. Azidi received a suspended sentence, so he wouldn't have been deported on that. And that has nothing to do with his conversion. So, again, it's a theological debate. Dan. It's not a theological said? debate. Ivan, you're wrong. It's the not a theological debate. That's, that is well, incorrect. We have to agree to disagree on that. No, we're not, we're not agreeing evidence. to disagree. You're just wrong. Sorry. Okay. The compelling evidence, Peter, was the evidence of Reverend Merrin. And what he said was this. He had known him since 2016. He'd attended the Alpha course, regularly attended church, had been baptised, and he was evangelising with non-Christians with the church. Despite knowing absolutely nothing about Christianity because he wasn't a Christian, because he had duped the, uh, he had apparently duped the Baptist minister into this who then sent a letter. I mean, there are so many you people within well the church right. who are just, just useful idiots to these asylum seekers. You There's no well doubt about that. Right. You may well be right, Peter. He may well have duped the, the Baptist minister. But we're talking about the judge's decision and what the judge had in front of him. So I won't criticise the judge, like everyone's getting on the bandwagon. The evidence you won't criticise, judge... sorry, Ivan, Ivan, sorry to interrupt you. You won't criticise the judge, even though he clearly made completely the wrong decision based on incorrect evidence that had he proved it at all, would have made, made very great sense that this person wasn't a Christian, shouldn't have been in this country in the first place, and should have been deported before he oh, uh, threw acid in people's I'm eyes. I'm glad you raised that. I'm glad you raised that. What should have happened was this chap should have been removed. The Secretary of State has powers to remove someone if their presence is not conducive to public good. Now, the Home Office didn't do that. The Home Office waited. After his first Well, they appeal kept appealing. I mean, look, I, I'm no, no fan of the Home Office in this. I'm not defending the Home, home Office. But he appealed three times. Well, after his, his second, uh, his first appeal, it was dismissed, he should have been detained and removed. The Home Office didn't do that. Uh, in respect of uh, the appeal itself, if they, my experience of Home Office appeals is that, and, and this, is, uh, this is going back 20 years, Peter, what I've seen in these appeals, is that the presenting officers are ill-prepared. We, I, I have one case for the day. I've seen presenting officers with six matters for the day which they have to prepare. They're not properly trained, they're underpaid, and uh, they're overworked. So uh, I think if you had a good lawyer in this, it would have made mincemeat out of uh, Azidi's case and the, 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 the Baptist minister. And that's another problem, is that the people representing the Home Office, I'm afraid, are, are just not up to the task. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, Listen, I, th I, think, I think there are a lot of uh, people who will agree with you, and I will agree with you, Ivan, on that point. Um, uh, can we talk to uh, the Keith and Leeds? Is he? No, we can't. Sorry. No, um, I just want to read out a couple of messages here um, in regard to this. There's one from Anna who says, Your current guest is trying to justify his point in Christianity. He should not be allowed to talk about the Bible or our Lord J Jesus Christ, and has just disrespected the whole of Christianity. This needs to stop. I'm sick of how Christianity can be undermined at every junction. Well done, Peter, for demolishing him. Well, Anna, I, would, I respect Ivan's opinion, even though I completely disagree with him and think he's completely wrong. But at the same time, what is clear is that there is abuse in the system, Ivan, and as you correctly pointed no, out about the Home I, Office... I, I just, won't dispute I, that. just want to finish my point, Ivan, if that's OK. People as on you... the Bibi Stockholm have claimed asylum on the grounds of religion. Um, and, and, that, and, that's, and that the Home Office I'm a need to be, uh, properly cross-examine the ministers giving evidence. The most compelling evidence is the ministers. Uh, and I'm a, they, they need to be properly cross-examined. Uh, and you'll note the minister who gave the, the uh, support for Azidi, it wasn't on behalf of the Baptist Church. He did it on his, off his own back. Yeah, yeah. Perhaps the Baptist Church should sanction mm. it. Yeah, I think, I, think we need, that, that. I think we need to look at that. There also seems to be a, a massive outbreak of Christianity on the baby Stockholm. Listen, that, that's OK. That's fine if people have, uh, if they genuinely believe these things. But the fact is that he didn't actually believe these things. Um,